Hello everyone, Tim Stack here from the Utah Education Network and I want to share with you uh, a very interesting new-ish tool out there for students creating um, projects. Uh, this tool is called Thing Link. I'm just going to switch over here so you can see it. Um, and I'm at thinglink.com and when you go to sign up here, when you say join now, uh, what you want to be aware of is there uh, is a teacher account so or an education account so when you sign up you want to go and make sure you get an education account and um, hopefully I'll show you here why that will be important so let me log in quick oh actually let me just show you this uh, this front page so there's an example here of a thing link so basically you take an image this famous image we've got here and then you can add hotspots on it so you'll see uh, some different kinds of hotspots here so this one with a question mark um, you can open this up and there's a question there here's some information so this is actually a link uh, to the Wikipedia page about VJ Day um, here's uh, the uh, link or and the whole image from Flickr of this one that that's big here and then there's some links to some YouTube videos um, for some different uh, different takes on that so three or three or four YouTube videos um, so it's the idea of being able to take an image and then pull in other content related to that image so um, uh, I'm gonna log in here <clears throat> and I'm logged in, in a teacher account so as a teacher um, you, you get this teacher account and with the teacher account you have the ability to create student accounts so you create a st students accounts for students just with their name they don't need an email address it generates a list of um, username and passwords that you could just sort of print cut and hand a student so they would have their own think link account and because they're students underneath your account every time they create something then it'll you'll you will automatically uh, be able to see it so it's automatically getting turned in which is a um, which is a great benefit to this so um, I'm at the thing link website um, they do have an app so the thing link app you can create these and that's what I'm going to demonstrate here in just a minute but let me just show you a couple of examples of a teacher um, and it's a seventh grade teacher you can see it says seventh grade LA I'm not sure if that means Los Angeles or Louisiana um, or, or something else maybe so she enrolled all of her students and the, re the reason I can tell it's a she is because there is a little thumbnail there of the teacher okay and so as part of this stream I can browse over in this browse category and if I find um, users or teachers I can um, basically follow them and then the things that they make public I can see so um, let's just look at this one as an example I thought this was a great one um, so this student created one a thing link um, around baseball so uh, as I roll over these things so here's an image um, they're talking about concussions here's another image of a um, mind map that this student made so if you want to see that let me just pull that up so if you want to see it bigger you can see this is a mind map that the student made about where to watch the game so baseball is the center where's better to watch it at home or at the stadium um, and some things about greatest historical impact player salary so it was just a nice little mind map that was part of this example um, there's a, uh, a argumentative document here so let me just show you this because this is um, interesting as well so this student um, uses Google Docs and you can see that um, the teacher um, is giving them some guiding questions um, and on a writing assignment and so they they link their answers so I'm pretty sure these are answers that the student wrote in this Google document and they linked it right to their right to their picture um, let's see what else we've got here um, here is a video right so here um, it's a link to a video that was stored inside of Google Docs so I can see the student actually um, doing this interview you get the idea we won't watch it um, there's also another video over here um, that the student made so the student uh, read a book called heat by um, Mike Lubachek which is a uh, he writes great um, books for adolescents and created this animation at Domo animate um, 
showing some of the scenes from that book. So even this one might be an interesting one to check out some more. Domo Animate. If you're familiar with Go Animate, it's that's that's this is part of Go Animate, where you can create fun animation. So, but the idea here with ThingLink is that this teacher had given students an assignment, um, in this case about baseball, and they brought multiple assignments into one place uh, to sort of create a poster that they could turn in. Even there's a link here to this student's kid blog. Okay, so there's a mind map they created, a link to their blog, um, some other photos, a video um, of a project they create that the student created, um, their argument of document, and I think there's even one or two more up here. Yeah, um, here's another uh, writing assignment. So here's the essay that this student cre uh, wrote, okay, or a research paper um, about performance-enhancing drugs. So you get the idea how this the the, the student is bring, bringing all these things into one place. So you can create these on the computer. What I want to just uh, demonstrate is um, the app that you can use to, cr to create these. Um, which I love these tools that work great on the iPad but also work just fine on um, just in the browser on a, on a regular computer. Um, so let me pull up this, uh, this app quick here. And this is an app that only wants to be um, portrait. So let me just um, hide this stuff in the background so that it's a little easier to see. All right, so um, I'm already I already have an account. I've already logged in. So this is what a student would see, and it's a very simple app. Along the bottom, there's a little camera that says, "Let me go get a picture." So it can use one of my existing pictures. Um, or I could take a new one. That's what that bottom icon there is for if I wanted to take a picture and use that for my thing link. So if um, I found an uh, image on the internet, I'd have to save it uh, before I came to thing link. Okay? So let's say that the teacher had given me an assignment on um, uh, the human body, anatomy somehow. So I've just pulled up this image. It was one I already had saved. And now to add these hot spots, I just tap so I tapped right there, and you can see the options. I can add text just by typing in. So maybe I could add in here that this is the heart, and maybe I have some more information about the heart, and when I tap off, um, that little um, target shape thing, and you can move it around if it wasn't in the right spot. So I can just click and drag. I'll leave it right about there. Uh, maybe I'm gonna label the eyes, and in this case, um, I can uh, grab an image or a video that I already have. Okay, so let me just go grab a quick video here. Of course, this is just a sample one. Okay, so put that in, and when I tap off of it, it closes up. Maybe you don't want it right on top of the eye, so just move it out to the side. And you can see when the visitor comes, they'll tap it and be able to play that short video. Um, okay, maybe I'm going to add something down here. If I add media, you can see I can. Uh, uh, take a video right on the fly. So if I needed to do sort of a talking head style, and uh, I'll turn it around so you can take a picture of me. Okay, this is uh, my video. I'm talking a little bit about the hand. Okay, that's probably enough more than you wanted. Okay, stop that. And now that little piece of video is contained in that hotspot. Okay, maybe I'm going to talk down here about the feet, so I can tap on the feet, um, and I can even go uh, do a search, um, and I'd probably already want to have this um, found beforehand, but I can do a search, a YouTube search, right from within the app, um, and maybe um, use one of these videos. Okay, so let me just use this knee one, I add it in there, and now that video is attached to that hotspot and my visitor or teacher can come and watch that video sort of part of my poster all right so once i've at, put those hotspots on there i tap next it wants me to put a little title all right and um, i'm going to just say done 
you can see there's a couple sharing options if I wanted to. I'm just going to do save. Now, one caveat here, oh, I can put a title up there as well. Um, one caveat here is that when as soon as I click save, this thing kind of finishes up and it uploads into the Think um, Link thing link account and if I'm logged in under, as a student it'll end up in my teacher's account um, once I've done that I can't edit it anymore it's finished okay so these are sort of one and done I can't do half the project today come back and keep working on it tomorrow so um, this is one of those tools that some planning and research and gathering before you actually start would be important so I'm going to click save you can see down there in the lower right hand corner um, it is saving this and that little indicator down there it is also uploading it okay so at the same time um, it's uploading okay it looks like it's about finished so that one is finished now <clears throat> and uh, if I wanted to you can see that uh, this 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 little four box here is the images that I am finished with and there's a little button up here that says edit I think that means edit, but when you tap on it, it doesn't allow you to add more stuff. Okay, it just shows you what this would look like when somebody went to start using it. Okay, um, and we can share it. You can see there's a few ways to share it. I can share the link because it created a link, right? Because it uploaded it to the Thing Link account. So it there's a URL for it. So um, I can open it in Safari. Um, I could send it in an email if I wanted to share it with someone. Um, but it is already, let me just sort of switch back here. Um, it has already uploaded. And you'll see it here. Okay, so it's already uploaded. There it is. I'm, I've just switched back to the browser. I'm not on the iPad anymore. Um, it automatically is part of my account. And I can click on it and um, the hotspots function. All right, and it says that I can edit it. I'm not sure if I can add more stuff. Oh, once you get it online, you can continue to edit it. That's good, I did not know that, okay? I can continue to add to edit it and add things, but on the iPad, once you've saved it, I can't really go back and keep working on it. It's sort of a done, a done deal. All right, so I'm gonna save that. Alright, so an interesting tool. Uh, that's probably enough to get you started if you are interested in it. Um, so uh, an interesting tool of, of creating a poster all based on one image. So, you know, to label and, and do a report on anatomy, this would be kind of fun. Um, to uh, to do a report on all sorts of things, I think it's a it's could be really a fun tool. So um, if it's interesting to you, uh, take a look at it, check it out. They do have some great tools for teachers. When you go to um, when you go to sign up, okay, I just went back to the front page, um, thinglink.com. When I click join now, you'll see that right down here is a link that says sign up for a free education account. Okay, so that's the one that will allow you to make courses, classes, and enroll students, and they can use. Uh, thing link you'll create a, a, a free account for them and what they create automatically ends up in your account so um, that's a uh, really nice feature to this tool all right everyone thank you for watching